What's up ladies and gentlemen, Wolfcryer here and the Diablo hype train is barreling down the tracks once again. Only this time, Blizzard might actually be driving this train. Speculation regarding the future of Diablo is already beginning to build up as we get closer to BlizzCon 2018. Over the last few years, pretty much all of the hype for a Diablo announcement has come from the community and not Blizzard itself. The Diablo community has found some pretty obscure things and tried to rationalize those ideas or tidbits of information into some sort of sign that something is coming for this franchise. This info usually doesn't come from Blizzard itself, but rather printing mistakes such as the famous Diablo 4 dice, obscure tweets, faked screenshots or faked memos, media speculation, etc, etc, etc. But as November and BlizzCon 2018 approaches, it seems that Blizzard itself may be trying to hype the franchise. At San Diego Comic-Con, Blizzard and Titan Comics announced a upcoming four-part Diablo comic book series that follows a group of scholars and crusaders as they delve deep into the history of humanity and learn of the armies of hell. From the description of this series, it seems that this group doesn't actually fend off the onslaught, but rather they learn of the great incursion years or possibly centuries later by uncovering lore. Sounds like a pretty interesting idea, an idea that could expand in many, many ways. Too many ways for me to make any speculation without a full synopsis of the story, but alone, this revelation breathes new life into the hope for an announcement regarding the Diablo franchise. But this revelation is not alone. Thanks to a tweet from Ninebeard, Content creator for BlizzPro and Diablo fans, hopefully I said that right for you, Ninebeard, we learned of yet another upcoming Diablo media project. Diablo Bestiary, Book of Adria, is a hardcover book that is set to release on October 15th of this year, two weeks before BlizzCon 2018. The description of this book has some very very interesting wording. Sanctuary is home to some of the most dangerous creatures to pull themselves from the pits of hell, tread lightly, and never fall prey to monsters with the Diablo bestiary. A celebration of the corrupted beasts and grotesque enemies that players have slain across the franchise's history. This book is the perfect companion to guide you through the next layer of torment. Now that very last line, along with the cover of this book being the Diablo 3 logo, unless of course that is just a placeholder, forces me to actually question my belief that there would be no second expansion to this game. The chances of such an announcement have grown a little bit in my mind, although I still fully believe that the chance is still much lower than a completely new game, a la Diablo 4, especially if you focus on the entirety of that last sentence. A celebration of the corrupted beasts and grotesque enemies that players have slain across the franchise's history. This book is the perfect companion to guide you through the next layer of torment. That still sounds like this book is preparing you for a new game within the Diablo franchise. It seems as though both this book and the comic series will explore the past of the franchise in preparation of the future. They both have that feel to them, as if Blizzard is preparing us for the future by paying tribute to the past, a reminder of what has been in our collective journey through the Diablo universe as we turn our gaze toward what is to come. It just seems really weird that both of these announcements come around the same time, both as we head towards the next BlizzCon, 
it seems like this could possibly be Blizzard's way of creating hype for a franchise. I mean, let's think about this. According to a lot of people, Diablo 3 is dead. It's not, but according to a lot of people, you know, the way the community talks, it's dead. And why would they create not one, but two different media projects involving this game if its player base is dwindling? It just seems like Blizzard is up to something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I always greatly appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I definitely want to hear from you guys on this one. I want to know your thoughts. Do you think these two things are just coincidences, or do you think they are leading up to a big announcement at this year's BlizzCon? Or do you think there's an expansion coming or Diablo 4 or a Diablo MMO? What do you think is on the way? We do know something is in the works. We don't know if it's ready yet to be announced, but we do know that they are working for something in the future of this franchise. We've seen the job postings, tons and tons of job postings. And now we have these two little tidbits that are thrown at us from blizzard itself this is not the community making shit up this is the actual company releasing things in a timeline that just makes sense to actually think that this is going to be tied into some sort of announcement at least that's my thoughts but i definitely want to know your thoughts down below i love reading the comments i try to reply to as many as i can but I definitely want to hear your thoughts. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so very much for checking out this video and you have a fantastic day. Peace.